Hi right, guys, today we're going to talk about three different ways to perform the standard double stroke roll. So, if you don't know, a double stroke roll or a double stroke open roll is just two hits per hand. So, we're going to play one, two, one, two, back and forth forever. And it's the same whether you play it really slowly or really fast, as long as you're getting exactly two hits per hand and making a smooth sound between them. So, the three ways that you can play this, or at least that I'm going to show you that you can play this, are individual hits, which would be you grip the stick relatively firmly, but you know, not tightly, uh, relaxedly yet firmly, and you just play two hits per hand. These strokes are coming from the wrist, and you're just playing two individual hits on each side, they're all the same. I will show this in slow-mo from the side as well. Next way you can do it is to play it with bounces. So you're only going to play basically one wrist motion per hand, but you're going to get two hits because you're going to allow the stick to rebound and then basically bounce down for the second time. So you grip the sticks a little bit more loosely, allow them to move around in your hand, and you're just going to play one wrist motion, but you're going to get two hits. So of course you can do this extremely slowly. Or you can do it relatively quickly. Or anywhere in between. But you're just allowing the stick to naturally hit the drum, come up, and gravity to take it back in for another hit. Um, and you can provide a little pressure with your fingers, of course, that'll speed up that second hit. Now the third way to do it is the push-pull double, which I have other videos on push-pull that I'll link to up here somewhere. But uh, what you can do is you can play the first stroke as a normal bounce, and then you can use your fingers to snap down the second one. So. Again, I'll show these from the side in slow motion as well. And the reason that you would want to have three different techniques is because they're useful at different speeds and in different situations. So if you were to use the full wrist motion, individual hits version of doubles, that's for playing really slowly. It's easier to control these slowly. I can play them fairly quickly, but not at a really, really high speed. Then if you're using natural bounces, you're playing one wrist motion, getting two notes. That's pretty good for playing quickly, but it kind of uh, gets a little funky at the slow end, right? So I can play quickly, easily, but as I slow down, it gets a little awkward to just wait for the stick to come down. Uh, but at the fast end, especially your very fastest speeds, it's the best way to do it because, of course, uh, you're doing one wrist motion getting two notes. It's that free note that you really the reason you're doing doubles. Now, the other one, the push-pull, is sort of halfway in between. You're sort of relying on a little bit of rebound, but also a little bit of finger stroke to make sure that the second one is even. I find this to be the most useful at medium to medium-fast speeds, basically to bridge the gap between full wrist strokes 
like this, and between doubles would, would bounce like that. There's a spot in the middle that sometimes can be awkward to switch between them. That's when using the push-pull is the most helpful, I think. However, I can use push-pull really slowly and fairly quickly. And I can switch between them. So, over a large range of my playing, I have overlap. Right? If I pick a, a nice medium speed, I can do uh, full wrist strokes, uh, bounces, and push-pulls at the same speed, which gives me options for whatever sounds the best. And so at those speeds uh, right there, you know, some of them sound better than others, but I have options for what I want to do. So again, uh, there are three ways to do it, at least that I typically do. Um, they are all good for different things, and it's good to have options. So uh, there's no wrong way to do it, but there's also no reason to not know how to do it more than one way. Cool. Hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.